The First Sacking of Lawrence by James Dutton and Meredith Hethcote. The History of Lawrence. Lawrence is in Douglas County, Kansas. It's located near the Kansas-Missouri border. Lawrence was established in 1854. It was established by anti-slavery settlers. Soon after being established, Lawrence became the center of pro-slavery violence in the Kansas Territory. Lawrence, Kansas was a target for Missouri forces because they were in favor of becoming a free state. The People of the Sacking of Lawrence Charles Robinson was one of the most significant people in the Sacking of Lawrence. He was born in Hardwick, Massachusetts on July 21, 1818. After completing grade school, he attended Amherst College for two years before an eye infection compelled him to leave the school. After leaving college, he walked 40 miles to Keene, New Hampshire to consult a physician. While he underwent treatment, he decided to study medicine. He began his studies in Woodstock, Vermont in 1843. He transferred to his school in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, where he graduated with honors. Shortly after receiving his degree, he began a practice at Belchertown, Massachusetts, but in 1845 moved to Springfield, Massachusetts and became partners with Dr. Holland, who later used the pseudonym of Timothy Titcomb in his writings and who had been a classmate of Robinson's at Pittsfield. Immediately following the passage of the Kansas-Nebraska Act, immigrant aid societies were organized in the East for the purpose of assisting those that might desire their futures in the Far West. The Free State Hotel was built in 1855 by settlers from the New England Aid Society. It was built to house anti-slavery visitors from the Northeast. It soon became the main attacking point of Samuel Sheriff Jones and the rest of the participants in the sacking of Lawrence. Sheriff Samuel Jones was born in 1820 in... He became Sheriff of Lawrence in 1854. Lawrence prior to the sacking. The village had previously been besieged in December of 1855. It was not directly attacked at that time. The non-fatal shooting of Douglas County Sheriff Samuel Jones on April 23, 1856, while he was attempting to arrest free state settlers in Lawrence, is believed to have been the immediate cause of violence in Lawrence. The shooting of Sheriff Jones caused the federal marshal to declare citizenry of the people of Lawrence due to their interference with the execution of warrants. The Sacking of Lawrence The sacking of Lawrence occurred on May 21, 1856. House of First Kansas Governor Charles L. Robinson was taken as headquarters for the posse. His goal is to disarm citizens, wreck towns, anti-slavery presses, and destroy the Free State Hotel. Troops were placed on every road leaving the town and each side of all the rivers to prevent escape. 
The posse gathered on the outskirts of town as well as putting a cannon on top of Mount Reed. The troops then marched into town under two flags, one blood red on which Southern Rights was written, the other the United States flag. The first shot was fired from a cannon on the opposite side of Massachusetts streets by David Rice Atchison, but it failed to hit the building. About 50 shots were afterwards fired with little effect upon the solid walls. Next, the posse attempted to blow it up. Several kegs of gunpowder exploded within the building and created significant damage to the walls. There were no official military leaders, but the people involved were abolitionists and pro-slavery citizens. Men then went down to the newspaper offices. They destroyed presses and threw them and typewriters into the rivers. Weapons and Tactics The main tactic used during the sacking of Lawrence was guerrilla warfare. This particular cannon, along with many other weapons, were used previously in the Mexican-American War. This cannon was used to help destroy the home of Charles Robinson. The Lawrence Massacre The second sacking of Lawrence is also known as the Lawrence Massacre and Quantrill's Raid. It was a rebel guerrilla attack during the American Civil War by Quantrill's Raiders. It was led by William Quantrill on the pro-Union town of Lawrence, Kansas. The attack on August 21st, 1863 targeted Lawrence due to the town's long support of abolition and its reputation as a center for Jayhawks and Redlegs, which were free state militia and vigilant groups known for attacking and destroying farms and plantations in Missouri's pro-slavery western counties. The attack was product of careful planning. Quantrill had been able to gain the confidence of many of the leaders of independent bushwalker groups. He chose the day and time of the attack well in advance. The different groups of Missouri riders approached Lawrence from the east in several independent columns and converged with well-timed precision in the final miles before Lawrence during the pre-dawn hours of the chosen day. Many of the men had been riding for over 24 hours to make the rendezvous and had lashed themselves to their saddles to keep riding if they fell asleep. Almost all were armed with multiple six-shot revolvers. The raid was less a battle than a mass execution. Most of the victims were unarmed when they were gunned down. During the second sacking, what is also known as Quantrill's Raid, 38 people were killed. Plymouth Congregational Church in Lawrence survived the attack, but a number of, of its members were killed and records were destroyed. Lawrence Today Today, Lawrence is the sixth largest city in the state of Kansas. The population of Lawrence, Kansas today is 88,727. This sign sits outside of the Free State Hotel reading, This marks the site of the Free State Hotel, erected in 1855 by the New England Immigrant Aid Society, destroyed by Sheriff Jones and his posse May 21, 1856, and rebuilt by Colonel Shaler W. Eldridge. Quantrill and his raiders destroyed Lawrence August 21, 1863, burned the Eldridge Hotel and massacred the citizens, 
Colonel Eldridge restored the hotel, which stood until 1926, when it was rebuilt by W.G. Hudson.